Hello my friends. Here is my capture box, the porta chute. And I have about 10 feet of plastic opened on the one end. We go around the swarm, take the swarm down into the box. The box has ventilation in the bottom and it can slide apart. Make easy access to putting the bees into the hive. This is what you need. A cardboard box, approximately this size. Size doesn't matter. And find one that, a second one that will fit inside. You'll need to have a heavy duty garbage bag. I went to a manufacturer that makes the plastic bags and I bought a roll of the plastic material before they make it into bags so it's a continuously long chute. What you can do is just tape two heavy duty trash bags together or more depending on the length that you want. Some duct tape, knife, and this is heavy duty window screen. Take the larger box and cut the perimeter. I'm reinforcing all the seams and joints with extra duct tape. Window screen and we're going to tape this, cut it to the size. We're going to put this on the inside of the box. Doing this on the inside because if we're carrying this and the weight of the bees are on this, we could have 10 to 15 pounds pushing on here. So we want to secure this screen pretty tight. Here's the capture box with the air vent, and I have it extra reinforced with the duct tape. And here is the top half, the chute, it will slide inside. Bottom of this box removed and plastic taped to it. And I have about 10 feet of chute. And it's a large enough bag that I can open up and get around some pretty large branches. Okay, after I capture, I'll knot this, and then I'll transport it on its side, and that will allow ventilation. And then when I get to the hive, I can pull this apart and exit the bees. In my truck, I have everything I need to capture a bee swarm. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.